Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what does your person find most attractive about you um, and about your appearance, personality, traits, characteristics. There's also going to be a part two to this reading and in part two of the reading, we're just going to explore those messages in a little bit more detail. Part two is going to be made available via the extension link below. As this is a general reading, guys, um, for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, let's give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. What they what they were first drawn to and what they first noticed about you when they saw you was definitely your eyes, okay? There's a lot of expression in your eyes and um, you may have some very beautiful eyes. Your color may be, um, the color of your eyes may be very, um, very beautiful. You might have like, or it may be have been the way, like for example, the day in which you guys have met, like there may have been certain specks in your eyes due to the way the sunlight filtered in the room um, it's just that this person when they first locked eyes with you or when they first looked your way this this is someone who couldn't look away okay someone who felt uh, straight away they felt almost a sense of recognition or very strong sense of soul um, connection here when they looked into your eyes and this person knew that from the very moment they saw you that you know, you'd be the person that it wants, that they want to constantly look into the eyes of, okay? So, they definitely noticed your eyes here. That's the very first thing that they were drawn to, like your eye color, um, perhaps maybe um, the way your makeup might have complemented your eyes uh, on your first meeting. A lot of water energy is also picked up, therefore, you know, the typical water signs traits that you guys do possess, this is um, someone who loves, you know, who's uh, who loves that about you, so the fact that you're caring, even the fact that you can be cautious here, they like that, um, you know, there's such an emotional depth and there's such a substance to your energy and this person is definitely intrigued, um, you're mysterious, you're sensitive, you're sweet, you're caring. This is someone who loves those things about you. Okay, and much like water, you're someone who's very refreshing to this person. Okay, you're a little bit different than the rest. They do get a sense that you are quite emotional, okay, or you've had a lot of, you've had your fair share of heartbreak. So maybe, you know, you've recently come out of a heartbreak and your person, um, you know, your person can see that and uh, like water, you can be very refreshing, but at the same time, you can also be a little bit, not overwhelming, but it can, you know, your, the fact that you feel things so deeply and emotionally can be a little bit intense for your person. And so they can sometimes drown in your depths. Um, this person sees that you have a, like, a desire or security which is showing up in your relationship or in your connection in your energy so this person knows that you're not prone to risk-taking behavior security is important to you you know and much like a container the element of water it needs sorry much like water it needs a container right to or it dries up and disappears so they understand that you know security is extremely important for you
you're very emotional and this person feels that you know you I feel like you might even have expressed to this person that you have some sort of creative outlet that helps you move through your feelings so you don't become stuck um, repressed or stifled so for example you know they see that you have a creative creative artistic expression about you uh, you might do write you might be a writer a painter you might draw photography filmmaking um, this person can see that you have so much emotional depth but you can also be prone to self-soothing by finding an outlet to express those emotions some of you are really in, into like um you're very spiritual and this person um, loves that about you you might be into yoga or you understand or like fitness and you work out and you understand that movement is very important for you as is it for the element of water right emotions need to flow so this person appreciates that you know you do things that activate and even foster your body your mind your spirit you know the connection there Um, they feel very comfortable with you. This is someone who they feel you're deep and mysterious, much like the depths of the ocean. But I feel like this is someone who finds that extremely attractive about you. They find you very refreshing. They feel like you're not really open. Okay, you have a lot of you know a lot of people that this person dated in the past have been very open, like a book. You're cautious. You're guarded. You're a little bit closed off. Um, but you know they also get a sense that you're extremely loyal to yourself to others to your values and they absolutely love that about you they also feel like you're very ambitious you're very ambitious you're very driven you're very diligent worker you're extremely loyal and this person you know they don't want to they don't want to be the one to break that trust with you because they get a sense that you're someone who might never give it back so I see that this person is sort of feeding off your energy and is also trying to become very cautious here. You're coming across as confident or at the very least assertive to this individual and this is someone who's definitely, you know, attracted to that energy. This person is, they can see that you feel the energy and the emotion of a person or of a situation before you even sort of experience it or before you even look at the logic of it. And this person feels like you have like a... Uh, an ability, a superpower. They love the fact that you're very adaptable, you have a lot of empathy, uh, you're very dreamy, okay? I feel like that, that's the word they use to describe you. Very dreamy, very creative. They also feel like you you have, you're quite artistic, but you also have a gift for, like a natural gift for healing. I feel like you've got a lot of you match a lot of the qualities and a lot of the traits and characteristics that your person is looking for in a partner. Now, they, they, they understand that there's a lot of pain that you carry in your heart or in your energy. And this person feels like they have healing qualities to help heal or soothe some of this pain for you. Um, they also feel like there's such a healing, soothing quality and energy to you. And they love being around you. They feel very comfortable in your presence. Um, they see you as someone very intellectual as well, someone who can hold a conversation, someone who, you know, can, um, who, who loves to also stimulate the mind, someone very intellectual. Um, but I feel like with this person, they're trying to take things slow because they see that either you still have a lot of emotional pain that you're dealing with, or maybe you've recently shared some, uh, some of your painful experiences with this individual or they're aware that you've come out of a recent heartbreak. So I can see that this person is really wanting, you know, to take things slow and not rush into anything because they feel like you're a gem and they don't want to lose you. And, you know, they don't want to do anything that you're not comfortable with as well. You know, this person, not only are they attracted to you physically, but let me tell you, they're definitely drawn to you and your energy and your aura, okay, and the energy that you give off. Um, this person loves being around you, even if they don't quite fully understand you know why that is or fully know everything about you just yet they're definitely open and intrigued to getting to know more of you um okay in part two of the reading guys we're going to take a look and follow on from the messages maybe see what exactly the future of this connection holds or you know see maybe how you can get over some of this 
how they might help you be able to get over some of this pain that we're picking up in the energies. Could also be them though, okay? Sometimes when people are really, uh, you know, close to one another, energies can intertwine. So it could be them that's carrying a lot of pain and they feel like you're a healing energy and you're helping heal some of their pain and wounds. So we'll go ahead and follow on from this reading and part two is going to be made available via the extension link below. We'll see if there is a future in this connection. After all, uh, I just want to thank you guys for your time, your energy, your attention. Please show your support if you haven't already by subscribing to the channel, by liking, sharing or otherwise commenting. Bye.